are so excited here at GMA3 because we're talking about our menopause manual, and today we're talking diet. We sure are, mm -hmm. and we're talking about a recent study which had some pretty amazing results. 88% of women reported that switching to a plant-based diet, that way of eating significantly approved their menopausal wow. symptoms. That's crazy. Yeah. So here to help us with some new ideas for plant-based dishes is our friend who we love, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and author, Maya Feller. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. Let's start though with the study. So what, what does the study tell us? Well, first of all, this is exactly why, as Maya knows, I went back to school and got my degree in nutrition because we need to start connecting the dots between medicine and our food so food can be our medicine. Mm -hmm. And this study was pretty interesting. They, they put two Two groups of women head to head, they found that those who ate a plant-based diet with just a half a cup of day of soybeans had an 88% reduction in their symptomatic hot flashes. 88%. Which is, yeah, which is on par with what women get when they take hormone replacement therapy. So again, it, we need more research. But this was a headline that got a lot of attention in the world of women's health. All right, Maya, let's get to the food. You're cooking up some dishes. Does it smell amazing? Oh, yes, God. it does. Suffering from menopause, what do we have? Okay, so the first one I have is actually lentils, and it's similar to a dal. It's actually inspired by dal. Okay. And what I did was I combined the lentils, the turmeric, black pepper, and cumin seed. You'll notice that I leaned into like a vegetable broth so that I don't have to use oil and to make a fat and then I used a low you know low fat coconut milk so it's also low in mm. fat there's onion there's garlic there's tomato there's a little serrano pepper this one is really all plants mm. no nuts very low fat full of flavor so and much it, you know, flavor. it kind of complements with what, kick with kick Okay, let's talk about those soybeans, Dr. Yeah. Chen. Why soybeans? Why was that so helpful? So here's the thinking, and actually, you know, over 20 years ago almost, remember this, Maya, you know, Pete, there was a lot of good data that tied soybeans to a reduction in hot flashes, mm -hmm. but then there was some data that made some women nervous that it was too much estrogen activity. It turns out now, A, you can't eat enough soybeans or soy to have really a powerful negative estrogenic effect, but the isoflavone, and the isoflavones in soy products seem to mimic the actions of estrogen in a good way. And remember, there can be positive effects and there can be not positive effects. And this is pretty much a positive one. What I've done here is combine oh. the edamame with a Japanese five spice. Oh. This is a fantastic oh. snack. As Dr. Jen said, listen, everyone loves an isoflavone. Oh. And this is a really <laughs> easy way to get it into your pattern You're of eating. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, just sprinkle it right on there. Mm. This other one is miso soup. And so I'm doing oh, something a little rice. bit different there is I'm actually adding the soybean to the miso soup. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining so us. Thank you. Thank you. And you can find dishes like these in her cookbook, Eating from Our Roots. So good. And for today's recipe, you can go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food, or you can scan that QR code right there on your screen as well. Yeah, I think we're supposed to taste it, but I'm eating the whole plate. <laughs> I, I, literally, I'm going to finish this. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.